page 17 around and around this is the first piece where we're actually playing both hands at the same time and they're doing different things now ah. take it slow and easy because you can learn to do one hand either hand but when it comes time to doing together and you're doing different things it just when I was young and doing this, I struggled with this. I just, I had a time doing it. And a lot of people struggle with it. Some people, they just do it right off the bat. Yuck. I struggle with it, and a lot of people do. It's okay. We'll take it slow and easy. As part of my approach to learning a piece of music, I include that bit in there. So, let's look this over. It's one page long, or four lines, whichever. It doesn't mean four lines as a page. It just means the way it's printed. It's taking up the whole page, which happens to be four lines. Okay. I can say number of lines or the page or whatever. Because when it gets longer, it could be so many pages. It could be 20 pages long or whatever. I don't care how many lines it is at that point. So how? I just want an idea how long it is. Well, okay. Treble bass cliff. Three four time signatures, so we're only counting the three now. There's three counts in a measure, and a quarter note gets the count. So they're still the same as three quarter notes. Remember the dotted half note is the same as three quarter notes. And that doesn't matter what the time signature is, it's always that. So just keep that in mind. It makes it a little easier sometimes in dealing with dotted rhythms. The dotted note is the same as three of whatever the next note down is. It comes in handy. It's like a dotted whole note. You don't see them very often, but they exist. Well, a dotted whole note is the same as three half notes. So it's the three of whatever it is. Now, go ahead and go to my scale video on C major, because you, hopefully you've already done it from the previous lesson. If you haven't, then watch. make sure you watch the introductory video first. It sort of explains things. And then do the C major, one octave up and down. Do the trill exercise and the accents, just like I explained in that, in that video. It's important. So the C major scale here, because this uses the notes in the C major scale, or at least some of them. Now when I have hands going on at the same time like this, I do one hand at a time. I make sure I have the fingering down and the rhythm and everything for the hand first. Because when I go to put the hands together, then everything usually falls apart and nothing works, and then I get to work it out. So right hand first. It doesn't have to be right hand first, I just do it that way. Have it. You're starting with thumb here, put you here. You don't need any other finger numbers in the right hand, please. If you can, take a pencil and scratch them out. Don't read finger numbers, please. Read the notes. You should know these note names automatically, instantly by now, and where your hand is, so you know which, which finger is on that key that, for that note. If you have to, keep doing that play it and say it drill, where you play the note and say the name of it, E, A, G, E, A, G, F, A. Play it and say it over and over until these note names become automatic, please. That's important. It will slow you down if you don't. If you always have to figure out the finger numbers and write them in every time, yeah. Anyway, in the right hand we've done this. So you go through the whole thing and you play out here. You're in this position. The last two measures at the bottom, that E, that's tied. It's got that line. That means you play the first E and hold it down for the length of both. So it's going to be six counts on that E. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> left hand. Well, the left hand's got thumb here. Now put your hand here. And you're not moving around. Therefore, you don't need any of these other finger numbers in the left hand. So please scratch them out. Don't read finger numbers. And it's one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, isn't this fun? Let's go to the second line. It's B. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. That's about all the left hand's doing. And at the bottom, of course, it's tied too. Then I put the hands together. Now, when I first put the hands together, I hesitate all over. That's okay. We just want to know which fingers are going down at the same time. So at the beginning, that, remember the right hand's here and the left hand's here. And our thumbs go down at the same time here. I'm going to hold the left hand down. And then I'm going to play them again. Now it's, it's B and F here. And again. And again. And now, second line, second measure. It's here, 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 here. Well, that 
that was convenient. You see the way we're built, the way our brains work. The hands automatically mirror each other. They do boom, boom, boom. So if I do with one finger, I do the same finger in the other hand. I, it just automatically happens. That's what's going on here. We're playing the same fingers in each hand. We're mirroring them. That makes it a little easier. Because later on, we're not going to be mirroring them. We're going to be using different fingers. So this makes this a little bit easier. Okay. So you go through and put the hands together. And then go back through any tough spots or the whole thing. And get rid of the hesitations. So it's a steady beat. The speed you choose right now doesn't matter. Keep it as slow as you got to in order for it to be a steady beat. Use a metronome if you need to, but a steady beat. And if you're not sure, what do you mean use a metronome? What, what? It's like we do in the Play With Me. So I have this metronome here, this one, and it's got a beat of some sort, and I can choose whatever speed I want, but when I'm doing this, I want to play to this, here. This way, I'm, I'm keeping a steady beat throughout, and I'm letting the metronome remind me it's, it's a steady beat. Now, when you use a metronome, if possible, I recommend you don't use the lights. Well, maybe I need to give a lesson on how to use a metronome. All metronomes have an audible sound, a tone or a click. This one... It has this little whine thing or something's going on. Somebody's hurting inside this thing. So, But there's an audible tone on the beat. And that's what you really need because you can't be watching the music and paying attention to that and trying to watch a light. You need to be able to just hear the light. So you play the notes at the same time you have this tone here. That's a terrible idea, isn't it? Now, I have several different kinds of metronomes, and the one I use in the videos is no longer available. It's a really old one. I've had this probably 30 years or more, but it has the nice, fun lights to watch. The lights are actually useless as far as the metronome goes. People say, I want a metronome like that, and they don't understand the lights are useless. It's the sound, the audible sound you need. That's what you're after. The metronome I use quite a bit is one of these, and these I do recommend because you can still get them, as far as I know. But this one, you can... It has lights across the top, which don't help, but it has that click. You have to set it on the speed you want, for whatever speed you want, and then you play with the clicks. And that metronome keeps you steady. And when you can do that, you've taken out the uh, hesitations. Mm. Then you can think about speeding it up. So put the hands together, you get rid of the hesitations, and then we'll think about the speed. Allegretto at the top, it's an Italian word. It means sort of fast. You have moderato in the middle, and you have allegro up here, and that's fast. And there's faster than that, so don't get carried away with fast. Allegretto is sort of in the middle. It's sort of fast. I call it the fun speed. When I see a piece that's marked Allegretto, I think, okay, this is a fun piece. Sort of a fun to play. And it's a felt thing. It's not a set value on the metronome. You see in a lot of metronomes, they'll give you a range of these from here to here is Allegretto or whatever. Those are just suggestions. It's up to you. It's got to be accurate. So it's up to me... That would be fun. I could go a little faster. I don't think I'd go any slower than that. I'd go a little faster if I wanted. Remembers the overall feel of the piece. 
It's not necessarily the speed of the beat, although in this case, because you got quarter notes all over, it probably is the speed of the beat. Yeah, it depends on the music. Now there is a challenge here, as if you don't have enough to do, is we have to develop independence of the hands. And it takes time. I did for me, anyway. I had a terrible time developing independence of the hands. I just wanted to do the same thing all the time. So we work on it. Once you have the hands together and you're playing them okay, I need you to connect all this right hand all together. Connect all these notes. In the left hand, you can't if you play it. You have to lift up and play the same. Now you can connect that one, it's a different note. But if, when you're playing the same notes, you gotta lift up. But you don't lift up in the right hand, it's here. So I lift up here, but not here. I can connect, you lift up. See, I'm, I'm connecting the right hand even though I'm lifting up in the left. Don't do this. Don't lift up in both hands because you had to lift up in one. No. Mm -mm. Connect this right hand all the way through, pretty much, and only you're lifting up in the left hand when you have to, but it's, yeah, you, you, they're different. We'll work more on that as we go through because there's other things we've got to learn to do differently, too. Let's play it together very slowly. Now, this is after you've learned it. I put the Play With Me starting point in the description so you can always come back to the video when you're ready. So learn it first and then come back and let's play it together to make sure you have the right notes. I don't think the rhythms are a problem, they're pretty much all quarter notes. But let's make sure you have the right notes. So I'll give us three counts because it's in 3-4 time. Let's try it slowly together. One, ready, go.